Hello and welcome to the Power and Through YouTube channel. I'm William Wayland and uh, the other week I made a video. Uh, it was a video of me um, doing some specific jiu-jitsu uh, strength and conditioning. I'll be honest, I was being a little bit facetious, um, but I was poking fun at the people who recommend a lot of functional training and specific jiu-jitsu strength and conditioning and just how uh, this stuff is, is, is very, very absurd. Um, you know, uh, strength and conditioning theory dictates that we need to do something or perform an activity that can help us do three things. Absorb or produce force, uh, helps us with power production, and helps us with injury prevention. This is why we do strength and conditioning. And, you know, doing sports-specific drills with load and stuff like that causes a few problems when we don't want to do this type of training. But I keep seeing people doing it. I keep seeing people posting videos, specific drills and things what they consider specific drills and you know new questions we have to ask is you know uh, what we want to be looking at is something known as general uh, specificity of training we, we don't want to replicate the skills we do in training exactly otherwise what's the point of going to your skill sessions it just comes with a gym and roll about what we need to do is is uh, look on something called you know general specificity and the questions we have to ask is you know when it comes to doing loaded drills that look like stuff we do in the sport uh, there's a risk that replication of that skill might disrupt our movement patterns. You know, this is like you know hitting a golf ball with a loaded club or using a weighted, weighted baseball bat. You know, when it comes to the game time, it might actually disrupt what we're trying to achieve in the first place because the resistance has changed, the speed has changed, and it can actually affect our movement skills. Um, there's injury risk as well. You see people doing some stuff. I've seen guys doing like uh, rolling moves with 45 barbell on their on their um, uh, feet with a very flexed lumbar, really, really dangerous, this type of thing. And then finally, um, you know, like I said, you train game skills by playing the game. Um, there's no point going in the gym and trying to replicate your sport. What we're looking for again is general specificity. So when it comes to an SNC program, we want to be able to absorb and produce force. We want to try and improve our power production and obviously and BDI on injury prevention as well. And when it comes to training, you know, the novice doesn't want to be doing very specific strength drills. What they need to focus on is strength, which is why at the end of the video I said, made a joke about, oh, definitely don't do squats, definitely don't do uh, deadlifts. But actually, the novice, the person with the least training age, really needs to focus on their strength. Usually even the first year, year and a half of training, the primary focus is strength training. Um, they need to learn to produce force. and then. As they develop, as they get stronger, then we can start looking at, you know, focusing on power, um, matching uh, power production movements that match the sport. Um, so, for instance, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of jumping from deep positions or power moves from deep positions if you're a grappler or a wrestler, whereas perhaps a boxer might perform more movements for a very tall position. And this bleeds into when we do sport as well. So we're looking at velocities at this end. An athlete who's very, very strong worked on power for a while, is then going to look to uh, try, start training more of a speed focus. And that speed focus, again, it depends on the sport you play, but obviously in the case of a grappler, there's going to be moments of very, very high explosive speed. There's also going to be elements of isometric holding and eccentric yielding, you know, which is unique to grappling in that regard. So you've got to train speeds that match the sport you're trying to play not the same movement patterns. So for instance, you can train very explosive hip movement you know, with uh, cleans from the hang, or squat jumps, or hex bar jumps, powerful hip extension, and that way it will have gross carryover to the sport we're playing. Rolling around on the ground with a barbell on your feet isn't going to help you train in its particular speed qualities. You ever watch top grapplers you know, roll? They move their hips so fast and they're so explosive through the hip. So this is what we talk about when trying to have general specificity. There's no point coming into the gym and turning your trainers into what training into what looks like a circus act. You know, respect your training age and respect where you are on this on, on, on the spectrum. So you know, if you are a novice and your strength levels are low, you need to work on your strength. If you're someone who's already quite strong, then you can look at doing speed focused, you know, position specific training. And uh, you know that way you're going to get the most out of the training you're doing. Okay, so if you watch the other video, be sure you know to, to share this one after you've seen it, and hopefully that 
you know, explains why we uh, try not to replicate sports specific skills. So just to go over again, the reason we do strength and conditioning in the first place is to absorb and produce force. You know, we're looking to improve power production and we're looking to prevent injury. If your training violates any one of these, you're putting yourself at risk, and you're potentially ruining your own training. Okay? Thanks for watching, that's all I've got to say. Be sure to subscribe to the channel.